Hello, and welcome back to Nintendo Weekly News. I'm Jay Witz, and if you live in America, you will likely be spending this Sunday watching a game comprised of the most common Pokémon attack. Actually, believe it or not, I do have a story that can tie today's Super Bowl Sunday with something Nintendo-related. As it turns out, Nate Irving, linebacker for the Denver Broncos, instead of going out and partying this week leading up to this year's Super Bowl, is going to be spending time in his hotel room playing Pokémon every day. Not making this up. Nate Irving, self-described introvert, is actually a huge gamer, and it actually just dawned on me that the people who originally played Pokemon are now old enough to become professional athletes. That is insane. Irving's 25, and I'm pretty sure he just earned himself a fan for every nerd out there who is just watching the game because their parents have it on TV. Now, as a self-professed big fan of football, I wish Irving the best. Let's all hope he gets an interception touchdown. I am not making this up. Real attack, real Pokemon card, and the upcoming X and Y set. It's like they're doing it on purpose. In Pokemon Bank news, there is no Pokemon Bank news. Oh, in Smash Bros news, Lucario has been confirmed as the next fighter appearing in the 3DS and Wii U Smash Bros games coming out later this year. Many were crestfallen as Lucario's return likely means that Mewtwo will not be coming back from Melee. They both had pretty similar movesets. But Sakurai does confirm that Lucario's aura ability, which allows you to deal more damage, the more damage that Lucario has on himself, is going to be increased even further. So I guess the longer you keep him alive, the more of a deadly force he'll be. In some bad news for the Wii U, which unfortunately is becoming a staple for this series, Arkham Origins on the Wii U will not be releasing any more of the DLC for the game. Warner Bros. said that based on demand, there just isn't enough cause for them to actually develop it on the Wii U, even though they've had some DLC on it before, and anybody that bought a season pass got their passes refunded. Now, in general, I do understand that Arkham Origins did not sell as well as the other Arkham games, so maybe they're trying to cut back, save some losses, but this does have a pretty big picture for the Wii U and third-party companies. It just doesn't have a lot of third-party support, and it's really killing the system. Nintendo makes some great stuff, but if you look back at some of the past Nintendo successes, you always gotta have other developers helping you push your system up with some unique games, or even just the same games that are making their way to all the other consoles. You gotta have something. So no DLC. Probably not going to be so good for any other future games coming out from Warner Bros. Interactive, or just third-party games coming into the Wii U in general. It's sad, but hey, it's the reality. Nintendo's got to fix it somehow. And speaking of fixing things, Nintendo had an official investors meeting to discuss some plans that Nintendo has for the future in fixing their financial problems that they've experienced over the course of this year, and the cutbacks that we've talked about in the past. For starters, speaking of cutbacks, Iwata and Miyamoto are both temporarily cutting their salary while Nintendo is taking some losses. Iwata's cutting his by 50%, Miyamoto his by 30 So they definitely do feel some personal responsibility for Nintendo's failings as of current, and to be honest, I do kind of agree with it on both sides. In terms of plans Nintendo did have for the future, nothing really groundbreaking, but here are a couple of bullet points I took from the presentation. For one, Nintendo basically denied that they would be porting any of their games onto mobile platforms, but said that they might use mobile platforms in the future to promote awareness for their games. Probably not the answer that investors were looking for, considering how profitable mobile devices are today, but Nintendo does recognize that a lot of people do own smart devices, and they need to be connecting to their consumers with them in some way. Nintendo also stated that one of their goals is to increase brand awareness by moving their intellectual property into new partners' hands. Now, initially this might sound like, oh, are they moving their IP to new game developers to make different kinds of games? And you see things like that with Hyrule Warriors, but I don't think that's exactly what they're talking about. It seems more like they want to move their intellectual properties into other forms of media, ways to increase awareness for their brands through other ways than just games. So maybe we will see things like more accessible Mario plushes in stores, or things like Nintendo Lego. Or maybe my dreams will be realized and we'll get something like a Nintendo card game, or even just a standalone deck building game. Anything where I can have cards that have Nintendo on them. Love Pokemon cards, I don't see why we can't move it to other franchises. It would be incredible. Nintendo also stated that they're hard at work at porting Nintendo DS and Game Boy Advance games onto the Virtual Console. In terms of DS Virtual Console games, they showed how it could be possible to play a DS game on the Wii U using the tablet. 
They use Brain Age for an example. And while I do find this pretty cool, personally, I feel like DS games are originally handheld. I like to play them on the handheld system. And finally, Iwata stated that Nintendo planned to move some of their assets into the booming health market, citing something called a non-wearable device that can help monitor your health. Does not sound very exciting for gamers, but if Nintendo does have a good idea on their hands, the health market is moving very rapidly, it's becoming very profitable. If they can find a device that works well and sells well, the more money Nintendo has, the more they can put it back into games. So, I hope they know what they're doing. I know very little about the health market. Um, we Fit was sort of fun. I'm probably not gonna buy We Fit U because I just go to a gym. That's it for today's Nintendo Weekly News, but as always, you can click this button right here to subscribe to my channel and get alerts when my new videos are coming out. You can also click the description below to find links to any of the stories if you want to learn more about them. What I want to know from you guys is, what do you think Nintendo could do to help themselves out of this hole that they have? Does it need to be different kinds of games, a different kind of system, different markets, different marketing? Who knows? I'm just curious what you guys would like out of Nintendo in the future. Thank you guys as always for watching, and I will see you next week for the next Nintendo Weekly News. I know, I know. I want you in Smash Bros. as badly as you do, but you're just gonna have to wait.